Welcome back for another Radclusive video. Today, we are going to discuss the components of a computed tomography or CT scanner. Before we proceed to this video, don't forget to click the like button, share to your friends, subscribe to Early7 YouTube channel, and click the bell icon for more Radclusive videos. What are the components of a CT scanner or computed tomography? A CT scanner uses X-rays in the same way as a conventional X-ray but instead of taking one image, a CT scanner takes multiple images, or slices. A computer program gathers all the images and compiles them to create a three-dimensional image of the internal structures being examined. Advances have improved the sensitivity and usefulness of CT scanners since they were developed. A CT scanner is made up of four main components, the gantry, the patient couch or patient's table, the X-ray source or the X-ray tube and detectors. In a computer system that gathers information from the detectors and produces an image from the information. Let us discuss the first component of a CT scanner which is the gantry. The gantry is the largest component of CT installation. The gantry incorporates the X-ray tube unit, detector and data acquisition system. The gantry maintains the alignment of the X-ray head and detectors while moving the X-ray head through the scan arc. A circular aperture in the center of the gantry frame allows the patient to be positioned within the X-ray field by the table assembly. The gantry aperture diameter limits the maximum patient size which is 60 cm to 70 cm or 24 to 28 inches in diameter. Each scanner has a maximum table weight limit of 300 to 600 pounds or 136 to 172 kilograms that is designed to prevent patients that are too large for the gantry from being forced into the scanner. The entire gantry can be tipped or angled up to 30 degrees to allow the acquisition of partial coronal images. Three positioning lights or lasers within the gantry assure centering of the patient in the sagittal, coronal, and transverse planes. What are the functions in the CT scan gantry? The first functions in the CT scan gantry is the display panel. The display panel shows the reading of the gantry tilt, table height, position of landmarks, latch status, scannable range, and tilt range. Another functions in the CT scan gantry is the emergency button. Pressing the emergency button stops every mechanical movement and the X-ray emission. The third functions in the CT scan gantry is the control panel, which is located on both sides of the CT scan gantry. The control panel incorporates several buttons to mainly control the movements of the gantry and table. The fourth functions in the CT scan gantry is the positioning light and breath navigation. Positioning light provides proper patient's positioning and centering, while breath navigation provides visual breathing instructions to a patient with hearing problem. The next component of computed tomography or a CT scanner is the X-ray tube. The CT scan X-ray tubes are very large. They have an anode heating capacity of 500,000 heating units. The power requirements for a CT scanner is 120 kV at 200 to 500 milliamperes. They have an anode cooling rates of approximately 1 mHU per minute because the anode disc has a larger diameter and it is thicker. It uses a small focal spot size for better spatial resolution. The X-ray tube can be energized up to 60 seconds. The third main component of a CT scanner is the detector. The combination of a scintillation crystals and the light detector is called a scintillation detector. Sodium iodide is the first crystal used in the earliest scanner. Sodium iodide was replaced by bismuth germinate, cesium iodide, and cadmium tungstate. Cadmium tungstate and special ceramics are the current crystals. There are two types of detectors used in the CT scanner. The first type of detector is a scintillation detector. It uses scintillation crystal, 
coupled to a photomultiplier tube, to convert light to electrons. Examples are sodium iodide, cadmium tungstate, and cesium iodide. The second type of detector is the gas detector. It ionized gas, causes electrons to attach to tungsten plates, creating electronic signals. Example of this are xenon gas and krypton gas. Another component of a CT scanner is the patient's table. To support the patient comfortably, the patient couch must be constructed of low atomic material, such as carbon fiber. The use of low atomic material does not interfere with X-ray beam transmission and patient imaging. When the patient couch positioning is not exact, the same tissue can be imaged twice, thus doubling the dose, or it can be missed altogether. The table is responsible for positioning the patient with the gantry. Up and down positioning movements are available, as well as the longitudinal positioning of the patient into the gantry aperture. The tabletop is usually made of a carbon fiber, composite to reduce X-ray beam attenuation. It is very important not to exceed the patient weight limit of the table. The weight capacity is 300 to 600 pounds or 136 to 172 kilograms. What are the functions in a CT skin patient's table? The cradle moves into or out of the gantry. The latch button is used to latch or unlatch the cradle. Next is the speaker, which is used to deliver oral instructions to the patient. In the mat switch, that is placed at the foot of the table. When the operator steps on it, the switch turns on and activates functional buttons on the gantry panel. The last component of a CT scanner is the computer. The computer has four basic functions. Control of data acquisition. Image reconstruction and reformation. Storage of image data. And image display. That concludes our video for the components of the computed tomography scanner or CT scan. If you enjoy watching this video, don't forget to click the like button, share to your friends, subscribe to Early7 YouTube channel, and click the bell icon for more radclusive videos.